Hey YouTube, thank you so much and welcome back to my channel. Whew. I have been off of YouTube for a while. I gotta get back in the swing of things and I figure why not start back with the month of November because everybody knows that the month of November is the Sephora VIB sale. Yes, that is everything I wait for every year because Sephora hardly ever has any kind of sales and so I am a VIB Rouge member, so I get 20% off. The sale happens twice a year. It's already happened once this time, once this year. I think at the beginning of the month, I didn't participate then for whatever reason. And then now it's going on um, from the 10th to the through the 15th, I believe. I think it's the 10th through the 15th. But yes, so. I got several things. This is gonna have to be a two-part video because what I did was the Sephora that I go to is inside of a JCPenney. So in the, the smaller Sephora's don't always have everything. Like for instance, I like Black Up and our Sephora does not sell Black Up. So what I did was I did an in-store purchase and then I did an online purchase. I'm currently waiting on my stuff that I purchased offline. So I'm just gonna go ahead and show you all the things that I got inside of the smaller store so if you're interested in seeing my VIB sale haul then please keep on watching so let's get started and if y'all see me looking over here that's just where my view screen is my lens is giving me all types of trouble I don't know if I just just have forgotten how to work it or what but it's trying to give me some trouble so I'm just trying to make sure that I remain in focus so Let's get started. The first thing that I picked up is the Too Faced Peach Mist Mattifying Spray. Looks like this. Now, I haven't really heard anything about it. I've heard some people say they love it. Some people say oh, it's just another setting spray. But I figured um, I also picked up the Too Faced um, Peach Palette. So while I was getting there, I picked up this just to try. I have not used it, have not tried it. Um, so I just figured it'd be fun to try to test this bad boy out. It says it's a mattifying setting spray and it's infused with peach and sweet fig cream. Looks like this. So, yep. The next item that I picked up, I guess I'm going to keep it into the Too Faced family. Like I said, was the Too Faced Just Peachy Palettes palettes the Too Faced just peachy palette it looks like this I, I always love Too Faced's packaging it's just so pretty and their palettes smell smell so good smell so good I think I swatched yeah I did swatch one but it looks like this the kind of peachy fall colors and that's what I love I'm a fall type of per person fall is my favorite time of the year I just love the dark lip the dark eyes I'm all about fall so I am going to more than likely do a tutorial testing this bad boy out and I will let you all know how I like it so I picked up that next thing that I picked up is the cover FX illuminating setting powders now I had the colors um I got right here the color medium and then the color deep. I brought two because I'm gonna put the deep one in my kit because I do do uh, freelance work. So, um, and I'm keeping the medium. I had a medium. I don't know what I did with it. I don't know if I lost it, misplaced it. I don't know what, but I loved it so, so much. It just, I use it to set my under eye and it just, it just makes my under eye look so smooth. I absolutely love it. So I decided to pick up another one, one for my kit and one for me. The next thing that I picked up is this Dior waterproof mascara. I was gonna, I was interested in trying out some waterproof mascaras because I don't know if you know or some of you may know that I am engaged and I will be getting married next year and I 
I can't even remember the last time I wore a waterproof mascara. So I figured I'll go ahead and start testing them out right now. Haven't quite figured if I'm gonna do my own makeup or if I'm, or if I'm going to let somebody else do it. I'm leaning towards doing my own makeup. That way I know what I want. I'm, I'm actually gonna start doing like some bridal looks here on my channel just for inspiration for myself and for other girls who may be engaged in trying to figure out what kind of makeup look they wanna go for. Next item that I picked up is the Marc Jacobs Highliner. It's a cream eyeliner. Um, really just, I really had no reason to pick it up. I just, excuse me, I just happened to see it. I just happened to see it inside of the Sephora store and I just figured I'd try it. And it was 20% off, so why not? So I picked that up. The next thing um, I got is the Too Faced Hangover Setting Spray. This is the Replenishing Primer and Setting Spray. Now, I do have the Hangover Primer, the actual um, primer, the lotion primer that you put on your face, and I love it. Love it, love it, love it. That's the best stuff I've ever used. That is all I use now when I prime my face. I put the Ferrisol um, drops, and then I uh, put that primer on and my makeup stays on all day. I'm not an oily person. I'm more of a dry to combination, more on the dry side, and that's just what works for me. I absolutely love it. So I figured I would give this hangover spray a chance. Have not tried it, but I plan on trying it. But I figure if it's anything like the other primer, the Too Faced Hangover Primer, then I am going to love it. So I picked that up. Next thing that I picked up is this Becca Crispy Highlighter, uh, well, the Becca Crispy Face Glow Palette, um, and it looks like this. I think this is, oh, I don't think this is new. Um, I just, like I said, I'm just trying to catch up on all of the makeup I have not been getting, so I decided to pick this up, and let me open it up, see what it looks like. I love Crispy, by the way. I watch her on YouTube and follow her on all her social media platforms. So, looks like this. Very pretty packaging. Becca always come to snatch wigs when they do packaging. Their Becca is the mirrors. I absolutely love how they include the big, big mirrors on their palettes. And I know the Jaclyn Hill palette has a huge mirror. That's just, that's always a plus for me to have a mirror to look at. So, but anyway the highlighter and i think it's a highlighter and two blushes yes we have rose gold hibiscus bloom beach nectar and malibu soleil looks like this very pretty colors so i picked up that and what i'm gonna do more than likely is I'm going to do a makeup tutorial using all of my products that I got from the VIB sale just to test them out. And yeah, I think that'll be a fun little video to do a VIB makeup look using the all of the new products that I got during the sale. So my next item that I picked up is the Makeup Forever Lustrous Shadow Palette. Looks like this. Again, I, I think this one is fairly new and I think this is a limited edition palette. I decided to pick this up because, like I said, I love the darker palettes. I love the darker shades. And so, yeah, looks like this. It has a tin, kind of like a tin can type of, type of look. I like that. But that's weird. It's coming out, but anyway. I have never touched this palette. I don't know what's up with all of this right here. This may go back because I hate spending my money on things and it comes looking like that. It looks like it's almost look like it's almost smeared, but um, but anyway, that's what the palette looks like. Very nice dark colors. I I, I love purples and the darker pink. I don't think I'm gonna use that too much. And then golds. I pretty much like like the colors on the palette, but I, I'm not feeling this right here because like I said, I've never touched it. So it's my first time opening it. And my next item 
which is not very new. I didn't get this during the sale. I got it a little bit before the sale, but I decided I'd show it anyway. And it's the none other than Fenty foundation honey everybody and their mom has been raving about this foundation i'm pretty sure if you're watching this video you know all about this foundation what it do what it don't do i love it the only problem that i have is i got the color 440 and it was a little bit too dark i i mean it was okay but i just feel like i could have went for 430 well went back to the store trying to get 430 and 430 was gone 430 420 440 and 450 was gone has been out of stock for a while i went to four sephora's and every last one of them are out of that particular those particular shades so i'm just trying to wait around on the restock and i'm gonna get my hands on 430 because i feel like 430 will look better 440 looked okay but i just feel like 430 would be a more a more better fit i possibly could mix the two foundations but i'm not a big fan of mixing foundations like that because i don't even wear drugstore foundations and i feel like if i'm gonna spend high-end dollars on foundation i shouldn't have to get two to mix them to get my color but um because i like this foundation so much i'm gonna get the four 30 and then I'm just gonna keep the 440 even if I have to just put it in my makeup kit then I'll do that so next item that I got is the Too Faced Too Faced Too Faced Peach Kiss Moisture Matte Long Wearing Lipstick and I got the color Got Peach so I'm gonna open it up and swatch it I absolutely love the packaging. I Too Faced, I like the packaging. Them and Becca, I love the packaging, but it looks like this. And that's the color. Very pretty peachy color. I'm gonna swatch it on the back of my hand. It looks like that. It looks a little loud, like a little bright on the um, screen, but it's, it don't look that bright in person, so. But we'll see, honey, I got some, um, so cool is for lips so i may have to hit it with a liner before i use it but i figured i'd pick it up very pretty lipstick next item that i picked up is the nars velvet lip glide let's take it out of the packaging i think i seen jackie anna trying these on no she was trying on the lipsticks but um looks like that i figured i'd get me another brown lipstick because um i'm a brown type of person like i said i like darks i like neutrals i like browns and oranges and that sort of thing so i figured i picked this one up and test it out i think i, I i've never owned the nars lip anything so if it's anything like the nars creamy radiant concealers honey then it's gonna be bomb because I am in love with those. Love, 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 love those. That's what I use on my face to highlight today. And it's not a very bright highlight. I'm not a bright highlight person. I like more of neutral. Next, I picked up this Fenty Beauty brush. The brush set that, the brush set, excuse me, the brush that came with the set. I picked that up, have not used it. We'll try to use it sometime or another. So I just picked it up. Then of course I got a beauty blender. I was unaware that you have you are supposed to throw your beauty blenders away after three months. Well, it was good to find out during the month of November during the VIB sale because I picked up six of them, but they all look just like this. So I don't think there's no need for me to pull out six and show them to you. But I picked up six more of these. Moving on to my next basket. Next, I picked up one of the Too Faced Melted Matte lipsticks. Looks like that. I've already tested that one out. This one just looks so pretty to me, I wanted to try it out. But anyway, it looks like this. Very pretty color. I like it. I like the color. I like the wear on it. I just think that it looks good I'm a dark lip person but that's what it looks like right there very very pretty very pretty 
So I plan on wearing that. I think I picked up more than one. Yeah, I picked up another one. I got another one. I don't know what made me pick up this purple one. This can't touch this, but it looked good when I saw it the first time. So I figured why not give it a try, but comes like this. And I'll swatch this one for you as well. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Kind of glossy, it's not, this one's not matte, melted latex, yeah, sorry. But we'll see how that wears. I'll try to figure out something, some kind of look to wear it with. And then I got, oh, I got another Too Faced Peach Kiss Moisture Long Wearing Matte Lipstick. And this one is in the color Stop Traffic. So I'll swatch that for you. Yes, I'm, I'm a sucker for these dark colors, dark burgundy colors. And I say I could wear that. That could be an everyday color for me. Right there, looks like that. The light is brightening it up a little bit. It's a little bit darker in person, but super excited to wear that one. I think I could wear that one every day. I don't wear makeup every day. I really, last time I wore makeup is when I got engaged, but um, I don't wear makeup every day, but when I do, I feel like that could be an everyday color. Next thing I picked up was the Huda Beauty lip contour set and i think this is old this is not new at all i went to try to get the huda beauty full filter foundation and i was a day late and a dollar short it was sold out so i'm just waiting on the restock so i can go on and try it out i heard really good things about it so i figured i wanted to try it out but i'm just waiting on the restock but anyway the lip contour set looks like this it comes with a liner and two liquid lipsticks, liquid matte lipsticks. So I'm excited to try that out. I love Huda Beauty. I follow her on Snapchat and Instagram. I just love all of her products. And I love how she's very versatile with her shade ranges and different types of things. She caters to black women, or at least she portrays that she caters to black women. So, um, all right. Next thing that I got is the Tarte Lip toasted palette i am super excited to use this palette i actually i'm going to do i plan on doing a tutorial with using this palette because from the time i looked at it i said yes that's that's the kind of palette this is the kind of palette that you put in your purse to, for me this is like an everyday palette for me i just love the shades i love the warm shades i just love the how it's got a little bit of shimmer i just feel like that's the perfect neutral palette I just feel like it's the perfect neutral palette for me. So, very excited about using it. I love all of the little tartlet palettes. I love every last one of them. So I'm hoping that got a lot of new palettes that I wanna try, including this one. So look for a video coming soon on this palette. Next thing that I got is the Becca Ultimate Coverage Complexion Cream. I got it in the color Sandalwood. I had gotten in, the, got the color Sienna, but Sienna was way too dark for me, so I decided to try Sandalwood. But I feel like that's gonna be just as dark, so. But I'm gonna try it out and see, and if it doesn't work for me, I will be taking it back, so. But I did get it because I hear so many people raving about it. Nitra B absolutely love it. I love Nitra B. She's one of my favorite YouTubers here. And um, she talks about it and talk about how awesome it is. The coverage is great. So I finally decided to pick it up, but I'm kind of afraid that they don't have, I'm not gonna have a shade that match me. Like I said, I tried the Sienna one, it didn't work. So I got Sound of Wood. I'm hoping that it works, so we'll see. The next item that I got, and this is one of the items that I decided to splurge on. Um, I've heard so much about it, but just never tried it. And you know how sometimes Instagram and YouTube, they'll hype up a product. And I don't always run and check the hype on certain products because I just feel like 
Why? I mean, because just in two weeks or a month later, it'll be something else that's, that's the best thing, you know? And so I try to choose my, my battles wisely when I'm spending my coins. So, but this one just kept catching my eye. So many people have talked about this for a long time. It seems like the hype has never died about this one. So I got the Tatcha Pure Camilla, Camellia, I think so, cleansing, cleansing oil. I picked it up. I figured why not get it since it was during the VIB sale. So I'm interested in trying this, see how it's gonna work out for me. Like I said, I've heard great things about it and I got high hopes for it because it was expensive. So we'll see. And to go along with it, I also picked up the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. Now I'm really excited to try this. I finally made myself buy this because I was wanting to buy it, but then I was like, mm. For the price, I don't know, but then when the sale came around, I was like, why not? It's on sale. It's probably the cheapest price that it'll ever be, so go ahead and get it. And so I got it. So I'm hoping that it it lives up to the hype. A lot of people talk about this too, so we'll see. Next thing that I got is the Becca. This one is a limited edition. It's so doggone iridescent. Woo! This is the Becca Light Chaser Highlighter for face and eye. Topaz Flashes Guilt is the name of it. And let me open it up. Come on, honey. See, I'm telling you, the packaging bees everything. No spell check. It bees everything. I love it. So, I'm going to swatch it. It's pretty, pretty. We gonna see, we gonna see in that next video when I use all these products, we gonna see. But it's a really pretty color. I'm excited to try it. And I, I like to collect limited edition items. That's just my thing. So I would have picked it up anyway. The next item that I got is the and this is just this is an oldie but a goodie a grady no spell check a grady this is the lancome paris tony doll ultra 24 hour wear makeup i'm in the color 500 suede warm i've been through maybe six of these and it's still the bomb it is still the bomb in the summertime i usually have to go up to five it's usually a little too dark but I, and I have I end up having to mix 500 suede warm. This is the only foundation that is so good. I don't care if I have to mix. I just feel like this foundation has good coverage. It's true to color. It's I mean it doesn't make me look whitish. It doesn't have a flash. This is like one of my favorite foundations, hands down. Besides the Mac um, waterproof foundation, love it, love it, love it. So I just picked up another one. I think I got to I'm gonna say. So that concludes my Sephora VIB. That concludes my Sephora VIB sale haul part one. If you like this video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Please leave me a comment in the description bar and let me know what you picked up, what you like, your opinion on any of the products that I picked up. I'm always open to listen to what everybody else thinks. And you know, if you've tried it out, give me your honest opinion. I welcome all of that down in the comment section. Give me a thumbs up. And if you're interested in seeing my next video, just be looking out. Don't forget to hit the that little bell so you can get a notification and you never miss an upload. So like I said, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll talk to you all in my part two video. Bye-bye.